today we have a 2011 BMW 335i xDrive. Customer came in complaining about a coolant leak. Everything is pretty wet underneath here. We got it on a pressure test and nothing seemed to be leaking. So we went ahead and let it run. And I want to show you, this is the thermostat here. And this is the water pump. Behind the other side of the water pump, that you can't see, there is like a outlet housing. When the car got hot, the outlet housing started leaking. So we're gonna have to get in here to get this water pump out. So you have a bunch of hoses you gotta take out. We're gonna have to drop this, drop the sway bar down, drop the power steering hose down. We're gonna have to get all this stuff out of here so we can get up here to get to, we have to take out the thermostat and then we can get to the water pump and some of the water pump bolts are kind of hidden behind there. I don't know how much filming I'll get done doing this, but I'll try to go over what you have to do to get it out. All right, so this hose here runs up to the filler bottle up there. So I went ahead and took the filler bottle out so this hose could come down and this plugs in to the thermostat housing there. So I have that pulled down. This is the power steering here that I just have that pulled out of the way. Probably gonna go ahead and drop the sway bar down on both sides. So that'll give me a little bit more room. Now I have to get in and get, those are the two bolts that hold the thermostat in. A couple more hoses, and then those are the bolts there. There's two bolts there and there that hold the water pump housing in. Then there's that hose connection I have to take off, that hose connection, there's probably another hose connection in the back. All right, here's the whole assembly out of the car. You've got a bolt up top. You have two bolts down below. The thermostat, which is this whole unit here, bolts onto the unit. The two bolts here, that's got this hose that wraps around. You cannot get to this hose clamp in the car this one here, I don't know if you could or not. The electric connections here, it's very difficult to get to on this car. So what I was able to do on this is this hose, you can get to this clamp through here. So I was able to get this clamp taken off and pulled, and I was able to finagle the whole thing out. I'm going to try to put it in the same way. If I can't, I'm going to disconnect this hose clamp, put this unit in first, and then sneak the thermostat in. As you see here, that's the hose there that goes to the back of the water pump. And here's some of the other hoses. And here's the electrical connector that sits up there too. It barely fits out the hole. All right, well, I almost got it all back together. So here's just one real good tip. I showed you how the, the, the thermostat and the water pump are connected with that U-shaped hose in the back. You can hook those two back up, but you can't put the mounting screws back into the thermostat. The thermostat has to be loose so you can push the pump and pull the thermostat over and get it in there. Once you get it up in there, then you wanna line up your two bolts that hold the water pump in. After you get that lined up, then you can go ahead and bolt your thermostat up there and then start putting all your hoses on. I got all the hoses on up front here. And then in the back here, there is that U-shaped hose and in between that U-shaped hose is that other hose that plugs in. So this one's almost done. All I have to do now is mount the, mount, the, mount the sway bar back up, mount this extra coolant hose, connect this coolant line here that I disconnected, and then put the shields back on, fill it up with coolant, and it should be done. All right, so that's a little overview on what you have to do. There's no room to set the camera up to show you exactly how to do it but it can be done. There's enough room in between the fan and the cross member here. You just have to be sure you have the thermostat loose from the water pump so you can finagle it out. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. All right, finishing up on this BMW, luckily I have a scan tool that will perform a bleeding procedure, procedure on the electric water pump and thermostat it takes about 12 minutes. So you hook up your scanner, you go into the, to the right settings and you go ahead and you click continue and just follow the instructions and you'll get the cooling system blade. Alright, thanks.
So as you can see, I have the car now in bleeding mode, and now the pump is running with the engine off to bleed the air out of the system. It says it could take up to 12 minutes to do. I'll tell you to hook up a battery charger to it, but I went ahead and hooked up our uh, booster pack to it. So now I just gotta wait until it's done cycling through everything and top off the fluid, and it should be full, start it up and run it. Make sure that I don't have any leaks and put all the shields back on, and this one should be done. All right, thanks for watching, everybody.